Hi everyone, welcome back to The Clock Shop. This is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay. And we're gonna start doing videos like what happened in the clock shop today. All right, first thing that happened today, I wasn't here for this, my son was here. Um, somebody came in to have this clock repaired. And although it's a 31 day clock, um, there are some issues. One, one of the, the chime bars is busted. And so my very smart son said, you know what, I think I have a clock just like this, but this one's missing its fenules. This is the one the person brought in. So let's put this aside. And so this is the clock. Um, let me just widen out here a little bit. This is the clock that uh, we bought here, oh, I don't know, probably three, four months ago. And... Um, it has its correct finials. This part here comes off. Um, I could sell this on eBay right now um, for $150 uh, without any problems. Uh, it, they just, they go crazy for it. They go crazy just as a decoration, not even for a clock, just for a decoration. Anyway, <clears throat> this is also a 31-day clock. I believe it's maybe a little bit newer, but the really cool thing, and my son Jeff pointed it out, is... It has um, an, a wine indicator. Now, when it's all wound down, this, these will turn red. And so as you wind them up, then they turn white, which I just wound them up. Well, did a wind on them, whatever. Anyway, so we're going to sell this, a trade-in of this clock, uh, which is really not, either one of the clocks aren't worth a terrible amount. This one here, though, um, <clears throat> there's a little spider in the glass. And I, I don't know, I may end up putting this glass in there. I'm not sure. He said he would buy it with, with or without the new glass. Doesn't matter. He really liked the clock. And so it comes with a key, of course, just wound it up. Um, and, and we've already tested it and run it and it's ready to go. So we're, uh, I think we paid $25 for the clock. Uh, we gave him $25 credit on this clock and we're selling him this one for $150 plus tax. Um, <clears throat> and it's a really nice clock. It keeps really, really good time. Let me give you a little hint. These 31 day clocks. If you live near an Amish community, you can get close to $200 for these clocks. Um, they really like the 31 day clocks. They don't really care whether it's, you know, made in Japan or Korea or China or whatever. They just like the 31 day clocks because they only have to wind them once a month. Just a little tip for you guys. Okay, hey, let's see what's uh, happened at the clock shop today so far. And we have a uh, Seth Thomas Hermley slash German slash Westminster Chime come in. It's a nice, actually, kind of a nice clock. Now, evidently, they told my son, because I wasn't here when it came in, that uh, it's been around a coal stove. So that's why the, evidently the wood's warping or whatever drying out, cracking. Uh, we can actually put a little uh, old English on that, uh, kind of moisturize it. But let's see what we have here. I'm determining a, I'm determining a estimate on this one. Uh, this, this is an old Seth Thomas A402000. Um, it's a, it's a uh, pendulum driven uh, movement. And uh, it was actually done by somebody I know in 2014. Now, if you ever want to see the tall tale signs of dipping, uh, here it is the color of this brass. Uh, just screams at me dipping uh, the the corrosion this was done you know in 2014 you know that's like seven years ago uh, I don't know 
So we'll take this apart and look at it closely. I'm leaning towards, I'm gonna to find out what the cost of uh, this movement, is it still in production? Can I get it going in this orientation where uh, the, uh, um, the hammers are going out this way instead of underneath? Uh, we're gonna take a peek. Okay, I've worked up some figures for this customer. I'm going to be calling him shortly to see what they want to do. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have a couple choices here, and I'm going to give them the choices too, and I'm going to share them with you here. Um, <clears throat> I can clean oil and adjust for $150. Um, whether it works or it doesn't work, we'll find out after they've spent the $150. Um, I mean, this needs to be cleaned up and that. And there may be a chance, but look at all the coal dust and stuff in there. Uh, there may be a chance for it, but this movement is actually antiquated. I mean, it's... They, they make this version, but it's not popular. Um, I am... Also have a proposal for them to either put another brand new modern um, 15 centimeter uh, movement in the case uh, by Hermley, uh, or go to a balance uh, style movement. Um, and it would, it would work out to be $580 plus tax. Um, but they have a, uh, a clock they really don't have to worry about for a long time. This one, again, was just serviced, uh, you know, not in the recent past, in the very recent past, and evidently has been running for several years. The, the only problem with, and I had to figure out in the cost of this, was I'm going to have to change these bars and have them go the other way. Uh, hopefully, uh, I may have to actually put a different... Uh, bar in it, but uh, the I could because I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, if, if the orientation will be right, um, the supplier says all I have to do is flip uh, this b block from being over here to being over here. We'll see whether that's true or not. But uh, it's easy enough to put another bar in there. Um, there's plenty of room. Anyway, let me call the client and see what they want to do. I came up with a third proposal, and that is uh, replacing with a battery-operated movement. I'm not a big fan of doing this, uh, but it was just so expensive. And um, so that's $95 plus tax. I have call called the client. Uh, they wanted to talk it over, and uh, he immediately said, "Oh, let's do the the brand new movement." And you know, and I and I just you know, I I, I like to have people take deep breaths before they make uh you know an almost well with tax will be probably six hundred dollar commitment. So um, we'll wait to hear from them. They should be calling me back, back soon. Okay, after about an hour or so, I've heard back from the client. And they have gone with option number one. And uh, they really like the idea of having a brand new movement in it and that it will strike real chime bars. So that's where it goes there. Uh, now what I am going to do is I am going to take the old movement and I'm going to do a deep clean and see if I can make it, I don't know, see if I can get all those dipping ears out of it. But uh, we'll find out. Anyway, that's another video.